Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to share a fantastic systematic literature review protocol platform where you can design your systematic literature review for registering in the Prospero or before you start the systematic literature review, you can design your research paper according to the steps that is mentioned in the web platform. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, in this video, you can see that there is a software or platform called Systematic Review Accelerator, which is designed by Bond University in Australia. Now, there are two platforms. One is the SR Accelerator, and they have improved their page by new site called the Terra. Okay, so both of the sites are available for free. You can use it and you can design your systematic literature review and meta-analysis very easily. And this is a complete guideline for you to start and begin what to include and what to exclude in systematic literature review. It will tell you every steps that you require for a nice, complete systematic literature review for your next Scopus publication. So, let us see what are those important steps inside the accelerator. So, first of all, you have to go to the Terra website or SR website. And this is the website address is given in the video description box. So, once you go there, you need to write the project name. I already put my project name, Systematic Review on the Impact of Artificial Intelligence on Student Learning Outcome in Higher Education. So, that is my research title or topic from review wizard we can start writing our literature review starting from the title page this is my title page systematic literature review on the impact of artificial intelligence on student learning platform so you can see what year will study be published you can write in 2025 once you write it go to the people so here you can write your name let's say my name is dr munshi nasser and if you have someone else, you can also write, let's say one of my co-supervisor or co-author is Dr. Shamim Siddiqui. So I can write his name as well. So once you have done it, then you go to the review plan. This is very interesting review plan. You can see that in the review plan, it is a quite a detailed information. For example, if you look at the review plan, the task description and tool and people and notes so you can see that the time is spent completing other work to follow authors to focus on the review then sr design or systematic review design meetings then daily administrative meetings uh, formulation of sr questions so there is a protocol called pcos which i already discussed in one of my video in the systematic literature review playlist then find and review existing upcoming srs Search for and review existing SRs and answer the same or a similar question from PubMed. For example, you can use your Science Direct or Web of Science platform for collecting the information. There are other platforms that I have mentioned in my other videos like Semantic uh, Scholar or OA.mg. You can use those as well. Then write the protocol. Okay. Then obtain set of relevant studies, design data extraction. So once you have done one of those things, you just have to click the items and what the item that you did not cover or you haven't covered yet, you can leave those items as it is. So for example, design data extraction form, I, I designed it, but I did not collected the data. So run the system to start strings. So if you run it already, you can write, write it completed option. So once you have done it, go to the introduction. In the introduction, you can write a paragraph, right? right? So I have developed a systematic literature review introduction, small introduction. So you can copy the introduction and go to the website and you can paste it over here. Okay, so this is your introduction of the, then you come to the eligibility criteria, which is the most important part of systematic literature review. This is what we call the protocol. This is very important because without this, your systematic literature review or meta-analysis is incomplete. So in order to complete this one, I go down and 
share one of my protocol over here. So this is my population students in higher education. So protocol P cos, P for population, I for intervention, C for comparison, O for outcomes, S for settings, and T for time frame. So this is very, very important as I told you that in my previous videos, I have detailed discussed about the protocol. So you can have a look though, that video as well. So in this case, population is our population of the students in higher education, especially college and university. So I can write the protocol, copy the whole thing. And you can see that first one is the population. So I copy the whole thing and paste it over here. So this is my population. Okay. The next one, it says that intervention, right? Then I can go and see the intervention. Okay. So this is my intervention is the adaptive learning platform. This is my intervention. So I go and write the intervention. Then what are the uh, comp comparators or comparator? Okay. So here my comparator are students not using AI tools or using traditional methods. This is my comparator of my systematic literature review. Very important because this will help you to design systematic literature review in order to publish and before you publish, you can register in the Prospero. It's a platform where you register your protocol before you write your systematic literature review, Prospero. Remember that, okay? So what are the outcomes you are looking for? So my outcome is academic performance. This is my outcome. So I copy the whole thing and then write down my outcome over here. Okay, then what is the settings you require? So higher education institutions globally, this is my settings and I will search and investigate those, okay, accordingly. So this is my, um, all the protocols and everything is already done. Then I go to the search strategy, okay, in the search strategy, they already mentioned there are several search, search strategy. You can write down the words, library, health library. You can add like other, if, if you click this option, you can add your own um, systematic searches or databases for example PubMed, Scopus these are the databases you can add search strings like what are the keywords that you are going to use it what date did you run your search on so you can write down the date of search okay then did you have a date you run the search back to or did you run the search from the inception you can put that date as well then study screening you can do the screening over here that uh, what authors the screen, number of review authors, what authors review full text. So you can put those uh, information over here. Then we come the data extraction. So here there are several way the main, how many studies has the data extraction from piloted one. You can put down, let's say four studies that you have uh, be used before you start your system literature as a pilot project. And you can put the values over here as well. You can include the primary or secondary data. Okay, then you can go for measurement unit or unit of analysis, missing data, heterogeneity. These are all part of the meta analysis. Okay. One of the other interesting thing that I would like to share with you is the duplicator. Okay. So in the duplicator part, you may download several articles from your uh, search. And in that particular case, there may be several uh, duplicate articles come. So in order to understand what are the original articles and what are the duplicates one, it is very useful to use this particular platform. So you can click the one, upload your RIS file. I have already ready for my RIS file. So this is my RIS file. And remember uh, the RIS file, you can, you can easily come from the Zotero website. Okay, Zotero website. You can go to the Zotero website and from the Zotero website, you can, you can upload your PDF files. You can upload your PDF files like this one, Artificial Intelligence, Artificial Intelligence in Education. These are my uh, articles. And from here, you can export the collection. And this export, the when you export the collection, you can see that RIS file, RIS file, okay? So that RIS file, you can download it and then you can upload it in this particular case, which I already have done. Now, once, once you upload the RIS file, you can see that this is the RIS file. And then you can just see five references are there, right? So you can see the duplicate one, click the duplicate option. So it will run the duplicate one. You can see that extremely likely duplicates, highly likely duplicates, likely duplicates. So you can see singular cap three, duplicates removed 
two. Fantastic, right? You can see that duplicates removed two and singular kept three, which means they already sorted out. There are two duplicates article in my search RIS files, which is my BibTeX file, and they removed those and kept only the three original files. So how wonderful is that, right? So this is how you can use your total protocol very easily in your project. And once you have done the project, you can see that this wizard, you go to the wizard again and you can go to the method selection. If you click this one, you can see that this is the outcome and generate output. If you click the generate output, copy the clipboard. So let's say this is my output. You can see the output. So you can, you can see that methods, introduction. Eligibility criteria, participants, intervention, comparison, search, strategy, data extraction, all the information are already ready for your systematic literature review part. So, this is a fantastic platform where you can design your systematic literature review using the protocol and you can submit for prosperity registration or based on this protocol or design you can start write up your systematic literature review in a proper way so that it will be published in a very good journal like scopus q1 or q2 so i hope this platform and the video is useful for you and i will see you in my next tutorial until then bye bye